What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Conflux. Um, was requested by, by some of you uh, if I could do an update on Conflux. Uh, Conflux was very, very bearish over the last couple of weeks and even right now, I mean, you could still argue that, uh, that we are not bullish yet, even though we were one of the biggest gainers in the last 24 hours. As you can see, we went up about uh, 21% at the very top. And excuse me if you hear some background noises, but there's some construction or something going on. Has to happen as well, but it's not too great for the audio probably. But um, but yeah, so I wanted to do a full update on Conflux. Right now we, we are met with the resistance around 22.5 cents, which is a very strong resistance level. You got the 382 FIP there. It's a psychological level, yeah, albeit a minor one, but still. So we'll talk about whether we can actually get up there or not. Last analysis, I mean, this was still on the chart, so some sort of a bullish moment, some sort of a bullish breakout was to be expected, especially when we broke above this level right here, around 19.4 uh, cents. That w that really was the the major bullish breakout we got over the last 24 hours. We got it because of the bullish momentum from Bitcoin. All right, so let let me get that straight. I mean, there's nothing necessarily bullish right now about Conflux, except for the long term. I mean. I do think Conflux long term uh, is a great crypto to hold, albeit a little bit, uh, it's probably still a little bit overvalued on the short term. Um, but we'll do a full technical update on, on Conflux before we dive into Con Conflux specifically. If you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment, and there you will find instructions on how to join. But now into Conflux. So the thing is, is that right now we actually got a lot of bullish momentum, right? We did not only break above 19.4 cents, we also broke above this level right here, which I would argue right now is the most important level, all right? Because right now Bitcoin is still very, very bullish. We're trying to get a bullish breakout. Candle closes in about 10 minutes. So you, if you're watching this video, you already have more information than I do. But, uh, but, but I don't see Conflux breaking above this level. I mean, even if we get above 20 uh, like 22.7 cents so 0 0.227 then we're met with the 200 ema just above there and it seems unlikely that we'll get a bullish breakout all right so i do expect bearish momentum from this area in general now what will happen then is that we will get down to this level right here around 20 and a half cents so 0 0.205 and then from there, we will actually find some support. All right. I do think we'll find support there. But then the big question is, is can we hold that? Can we hold that? Can we hold that support? And with that, basically put in a, some sort of a higher low. And if the answer is yes, so I do expect that pullback in the next 24 hours or so. If we can then hold that as a support. So let's say we don't break below 20 cents for, for at least 36 hours. So for at least, I don't know, a couple of candles, like uh, four or five candlesticks like preferably that will actually move up a little bit more like this then i think we can break above that and get towards 25 cents which is our next resistance level uh, but as you as you might hear from me i think it's going to be tough um whether i i do think it's the most likely scenario at this point of time just because i think bitcoin is is very very strong but altogether it's, it's going to be very tough and and if for example right Today we'll have the uh, testimony of Jerome Powell. If we get bearish momentum because of that and Bitcoin drops down towards 27,000 and 28,000 again, then this is going to be even, even tougher. So at this point of time, it does look like the most likely scenario, but in the end, the best way to go about it is just to wait for confirmation. So wait until we have a drop down and then see if we can hold it. If we cannot, perhaps it's better to buy a little bit lower around 19 cents, for example. And if we can hold it, then you can in anticipation even though it's not a trade I would take, but then in anticipation, you could actually long until at least like 22.7 cents. Uh, but yeah, those are just some ideas. In general, this is my, my analysis and my take on conflicts. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.